Welcome to the Aspirant Strategy. We are discussing 3rd May 2023 current affairs. I will tell you one thing before the start of this session. Guys, please, uh, when you are watching this video, please focus on this. Uh, when uh, I, I will tell you uh, tricks to remember particular current affairs or news. So please, uh, more focus when you are watching this video. So let us go into our session. The first question is HDFC Bank rollout e distribution network. Guys, uh, e distribution network for 5000 plus more villages, right? Uh, this is the initiative was digital distribution platform, uh, which is the name is Smart Sati. So HDFC Bank has launched a digital distribution platform that is the name Smart Sati. Through this, they can deliver banking products in semi-urban and rural areas. Guys, uh, HFC Bank has launched Smart Sati, which is a digital distribution platform. Through this, they can deliver banking products in semi-urban and rural areas. Right. Uh, for this purpose, HDFC Bank partnered with India Post Payments Bank. Right. And uh, when uh, coming to this is the headquarters from Mumbai and CEO is Sashidhar Jagadishan. Uh, coming uh, goes to our tagline is the uh, HDFC Bank tagline is we understand your world. Right. Right guys. Next question. Commander Abilas Tomi retired he is the retired person created history as the first indian to come to complete the golden globe race finishing in the second place guys uh, golden globe race this is the golden globe race and who is the person is abilas tomi is he is the retired commander but he is the person first indian which is coming in the second place and the first person is from south african the person name was kristen neoshofer she is the woman and the, she is the first woman also win in this in the race right so guys we are in 2023 but this race was started in 2022 and this program was 236 days and this is the edition third edition so you need to remember here the things who is that person what is the global uh, what is the race and who is the who, uh, who and what is the place of him and who is the first one so right uh, and how many days it it was going and what is the edition right these things you need to remember here and going to next question the women child development ministry has set up 22 member high level task force committee chaired by sanjay kaul right guys a woman and child development ministry has set up 22 member high level task force committee here the keyword is 22 member 22 member and child person is sanjay kaul the center is planning to push early childhood center and education sorry early early childhood care and education right through 14 lakh anganwadi centers this year in this year and uh, the portion by portion padai padai by slogan right the uh, the ministry is women and child development the keyword is 22 members and the child person head is sanjay kaul right and uh, you need to remember this slogan name also important and one more thing is what is the ministry name is it is also important okay guys going to next question and santiago pina elected as president of paraguay from the right wing colorado pa party right this is the party name guys and country is Paragai president who the person is elected is Santiago Pina. The Paragai capital is 
Asansio and currency is Gorani. Right, uh, Paragai, Paragai is the country name and Pina is the person second name. So related to P and P is the keyword. Right guys, going to next question. Shakira has been named Billboard's inaugural Latin Woman of the Year award. Right guys, Shakira, Shakira which is a name, the who is the person. He per this person is singer from Colombian okay guys who has won the Latin woman of the year award okay guys going to next question Saitwik Sairaj Rankiredi and Chirag Shetty men's double gold medal win badminton at Asian championship in Dubai guys uh, this is the UAE based Dubai is a Asian championship hosting the country and uh, the stadium was Sheikh Rishab bin Hamad Indoor Hall and before uh, Sairaj and Rankiridi Chirak City before the person is first one is Dinesh Khanna become the first Indian who is the championship of Asian right guys in 1965 who is the person is first first indian dinesh khanna right guys going to second question so going to next question india's first dark sky reserve in ladakh's henley village the village name is henley state state or union territory it is ladakh's and dark sky it, this is the first sky reserve from india now it is ready to open right guys second next question state bank of india collaborated with garuda aerospace private limited which, which is a startup based uh, company guys and drone technology more accessible the agricultural sector with a view to making so guys uh, state bank of india and garuda when those two are definitely uh, partnership is which is definitely amount based so we need to think SBA and Garuda for collaborating the money purpose and agricultural sector access to drone technology right going to next question Shivalik small finance bank has partnered with Arya.ag for finance small finance uh, small farmers against various receipt a Shivalik Small Finance Bank and Arya dot AG to finance small farmers who are the person small farmers to getting the finance loans Shivalik Small Finance Bank and Arya dot AG collaborated for that purpose and we need to remember here one more thing is how many small finance banks are there in India okay right which is 12 and headquarters of Shivalik Small Finance Bank is Noida and Uttar Pradesh right going to the next question ICICI bank has introduced a new digital and contactless payment facility for parking at Mangaluru International Airport guys ICICI bank and Mangaluru International Airport they were collaborated for parking facility in contactless payments digital method okay guys so here we need to remember ICICI bank tagline Amhaina this is the important and headquarters is Mumbai going to next question appointments cabinet of the committee appointments committee of the cabinet has approved <coughs> appointment of Siddhartha Mohanty interim LIC chair, uh, chairman as regular chair, chairperson of the state control LIC till 24 of June 29th guys uh, we need to remember here the thing what is the organization who is the person and uh, to which organization these things are important and until until today Siddharth Mohanty working as interim chairperson but till now onwards he was regular chairperson to the LIC okay guys Siddharth Mohanty until now interim chairperson but today today onwards he was he will be definitely 
regular chairperson until then 2024 going to next question millet's access millet experience center has been launched by agriculture minister narendra singh tomar at delhi hat in new delhi millet millet's experience center guys millet experience center has launched by agricultural ministry who is the person narendra singh tomar at delhi hat in new delhi so millets the year belongs to 2023 guys millets year is 2023 you need to remember here one more thing that and going to next question rbi declared that the statutory branch audit of public sector banks should be carried out to over a minimum of 70% of the funded and non funded business for 20 financial year 2023 and from financial year 2024 so rbi has declared statutory branch audit to need there is a need, if there is any need as a public sector banks they should be carried out minimum 70% of the fund and non funded business guys this is the very important the number is 70% branch audit is important uh, keyword the organization is rbi which is belongs to public sector banks okay guys going to next question public public enterprise selection board has recommended amarendu prakash for the post of chairperson of steel authority of india limited guys pesp we we need to remember or recollect from the two days ago i think uh psp has appointed one more person r a madhavan i think a madhavan to bdl which is also cmd the organization has recommended as a chair person and sail which and right now we are discussing sail steel authority of india the chair person who is the person is amarendu prakash okay guys going to next question seventh edition of the joint military exercise ajay warrior 2023 between india and uk was conducted salisbury plains uk from 27th to 11th may 2023 guys this is the seventh edition and between the countries of india and uk the exercise name is ajay warrior you need to remember these things along with that we need to remember one more exercise from those two countries which is that konkan exercise okay guys this is the seventh edition the name was ajay warrior the countries india and uk where it has conducted is salibari plains and which is in uk okay guys going to next question the telangana government has really launched grand challenge for innovation to promote innovation in in the food processing sector guys food food conclave 2023 held in telangana okay guys telangana state and telangana state government has launched a grand challenge in that uh, in that innovation purpose to promote innovation food processing sector in that particular in that particular sector okay guys going to next question world chona day is observed every year on may 2nd okay guys chona day which is a fish we need to remember yellow chona and blue chona is two types of chona are there but world chona day is may 2nd two chonas is there may 2nd is two two is chona two is may 2nd this is the keyword for this one and remember the theme we need to conserve our wonderful chona resources for future generations this is the theme guys and going to next question the book is released and authored by boria majumdar he is the person tv anchor and uh, tv anchor the art and author the book title is sachin at the rate 50 Sachin, at the rate fifty, you need to remember this book and remember the thing and poster wallpaper and Boria Majumdar, who is the author, 
guys sachin borya majundar sachin borya majundar the two names were males okay guys thank you thank you for watching please subscribe and like